Okay, so far it's been a scary evening, but uh, I don't know. Well, was this the moon, was it? Shark! Hello! My name is Adredden, and we are in Wildlands. This is episode 3 of my playthrough. Um, this is actually the second time I've had to record this. Um, okay. Just, uh, I'm going to go get this rabbit here, because we're going gonna to show you all the things that... Uh, I needed to do here. Um, guys, let me know also if uh, you prefer first person or third person overall, because um, that is something that I can change, and if people prefer it, then that would be better. We need this bunny. Okay, got him. Okay. So if you guys find yourself liking this episode at any point, hit that like button, and if you're new to the channel uh, and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me grow. Oh man, it's just beautiful this game. Um, and let's get our flax as soon as we can. We can't because we planted them all. Oh, they're not gonna do well. Okay, so um, let's see here. Let's go get some flax seeds. Um, we may also need to chop down the tree. Oh, at least can I get through this bush? Oh, is this like an impenetrable barrier of trees? That'd be cool. Um, get some flax we just need like three just to show you well ideally more than three would be good that's not a wolf good um let's see can we make a torch should be able to make a torch the torch you just need yeah your resin grass rope and sticks so let's craft one and then you can make a burning torch if you have your lighter with you so crafting you craft thank you ow oh god I'm gonna die. Well. When you die, uh, you just have to create a new character. And so uh, I'm gonna try to get back to my base, but this is gonna be tricky because we're just somewhere on the island. Um, cause I didn't do anything special there. Because, yeah, now there's just gonna be wolves around and whatever. Okay, so far it's been a scary evening, but uh, I don't know. Well, it was just the moon, was it? Shark! <coughs> oh man, I was ambushed. Those wolves were waiting right at my house. Hello guys, so I'm back. Uh, Dad once more as you saw, <laughs> and uh, a brutal night. Um, but I managed to find some flax, and now I found a horse. I didn't know if I'd be able to show you this right away. Ah, oh, more flax. Good. So, here we go. Um, hello horse. So we're gonna feed the horse. We're gonna feed it, uh, this turmeric, it looks like. Ah, look at that. So what does the horse think now? It's still wild. So, basically, you just kind of put a bunch of things in your inventory, and you can feed the horse until it's, uh... You know, kind of likes you a bit more. Spend some time with it. I don't know if there's better... I know, this sucks. Friendly. So now we can mount the horse. Which is good because... We need to find our base. Oh, another horse. Nice. Uh, which has got to be somewhere. Goats. I uh, know I'm freezing. It's a bit tricky to maneuver these things uh, over the trees and such. But that's okay. Hopefully we can get back to our stuff. Um, but the controls for this is, you know, you can free mouse, look around. And then you use your um, ASWD, um, your A and your D for left and right. So I'm like really dying here. Let's um, I haven't even made, uh, maybe I can make one. Oh, right, well, I'm feeling another death coming on. Okay guys, I just spent a lot of time feeding this here horse. 
And, uh, yeah, now it's mine. So hopefully it won't kick me off this time. Jerk horse. Uh, let's go. It's so cold. It's, uh, pick those up, please. Can't really do a whole lot before I'm dying here. Which is really unfortunate. <laughs> I think I kind of recall this place from the middle of the night. It's still pretty far away from my base. Um... But if I get kicked off this horse or I start freezing again, I'm not going to survive very long. So, but if I don't move it, I'm going to be dying. So this is, I guess, the survival aspect. Like, you know, if you mess up, those wolves start getting you. That's that. I don't know why I'm going this far up here. It's kind of a bad idea. You get back down there. Um, see you at the base, I guess. Okay, there's my base, but we're gonna have to run past some wolves, I think. This is gonna get pretty bad, I think. Get off the tall grass. Yeah. This is highly unfortunate. Um, well, can we run through the water? Some. Oh, horses can swim. Nice. Okay, guys, so I got all my stuff back. Um, let me just put everything back together and uh, we will be able to proceed with building things because I ended up finding a lot of stuff. Oh, get off. Thank you. Um, yeah, give me a second here. Okay, guys. So, yeah, what I've done here is, uh, I was going to also say, let's have some fun. <laughs> just before I was, like, getting ready to die there. Uh, just, you know, proceed with this episode. Anyways, what I've done here is, uh, created all these three things here. So to do this, mostly you need your, your knife. And the knife, it seems to be super important because the way this all works is that... Unlike Minecraft, you can't explore what you can build uh, based on, you know, searching it. Like, I can't, I don't think I can, well, I might actually. Okay, well now I can, but I probably can't build a car, right? Can't look it up, can't look up car. Um, but, so what you do is you make something and then you can see what you can do with it, right? Which kind of makes sense. It's like, you know, if you're out and about around the wilderness or whatever in real life, you're like, okay, well, what do I have? What can I make? Or if you're around the house, what can I make out of, you know, duct tape and glue and popsicle sticks, right? You're just like, okay. <laughs> well, you might have a vision in your mind, but that means you already know it. So anyways, it's kind of an interesting way to do it. So anyways, you make this knife out of one flint and one rope, which is great, which then gives you the power to make some really cool stuff, which primarily, well, the wooden needle is needed for a fishing rod. We'll get to the fishing rod and uh, can proceed from there, but we need poles. So poles are made with your knife and a bunch of sticks, well, one stick to make one pole. So then with that, you can make your spears if you want to like poke at things. Um, I've died enough this episode, I do not want to fight a wolf. I do not want to attract you know, a shark. Um, but I had some fun techniques for getting shark meat. Uh, anyway. <laughs> So, and then once you have your poles, you can also do things like make this tanning rack. So that's what I did over there, the tanning rack. I made the spinning wheel with wooden pieces, any rope, and pole. And the weaving loom with pole and rope. Okay, so to make yarn, you need flax plants. And so I actually have a bunch planted down here because I've been kind of growing them. Oh, there's one that's ripe. And so, yeah, that's kind of on the way for that part, but I do actually have some that I harvested out in the wild, so I'm just going to craft a bunch of it. So it takes about a minute. All three of these don't not don't require power, so that's good. Um, rabbit hide. I don't have any on me. Why not? Did I drop it and lose it? Probably. That's why I wanted to kill that rabbit first thing. Um, so, 
dun, 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 dun. But the same thing, just like I did with the yarn there, or the, yeah, the yarn over here. You just kind of go over here, you click on this, and it takes about a minute to craft over here. And that gives you some different options to craft things. So, but over here, then we can take our loom, right, cloth, and various different types of carpets and stuff out of the, the yarn. Is this done? 10 seconds. So, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, let's see here. So, all my armor got dropped. So that's an interesting thing. Can I do my crab carapace hat? No. Because I did make one of these, uh, and that was kind of cool. Um, I'm sure I'll make another one later. Okay. So, let's see here. Take all. And you bring that over to your loom. And you can make your cloth, right? So craft. And that takes another minute to craft. But the thing is, like, once you get all of those, then you can start making some cool things. Sewing kit. I haven't made any of this yet. Uh, I don't actually know what it does, so let's make one. Items crafted sewing kit. So what new things can we make with that? Um, I think the mortar and pestle that I don't seem to have anymore... Hmm. seem to unlock a bunch of dyes and such so like blue all these other dyes so we can make a lot more stuff and the iron ingots which I oh my gosh I lost my iron ingots <laughs> oh man that's uh, unfortunate resin um but it's not a problem I've got some here. Pick up that stick, sure. Um, so I can craft more. It's just not right away. So, that. Desert Sage. Hmm. So, get to that. Okay, so what I did with the hunting sharks was basically if you see them like this, it means they're kind of beached as. Almost. They're not beached as, they're just kind of beached. And then you can uh, go up to them and... So is there any more junk here? No? Ooh, that sucks. And you can... Uh, I would recommend probably a knife or a spear. You know what? I'm not doing this over here. This is what happened last time. Oh! Here's a bunch more of my stuff. Perfect. There's my crab carapace helmet. Equip. Brass skirt. Equip. Nice. Let me shuttle some of this stuff back and forth. Okay guys, I got all my stuff. And my health is actually pretty good now. So I'm going to try to get this shark to do its thing here. So there. That's kind of how you beach them. Just going to watch out for those stupid wolves. And, uh, well, I guess I didn't grab my spear, but that's okay. So there you go. Beach the shark. We're gonna get some fish meat, I think, from it. There it is. Raw fish meat. Awesome. Okay, and then fishing rod. Here it is. So, fishing rod was the needle, rope, and uh, pole. We just kind of cast it out and wait. And, uh, I don't know. No luck this time, like, I don't know, it doesn't seem to go very fast. Um, ten raw fish meat. I think you would probably just get raw fish meat, but I don't know that I've actually ever had this thing succeed, so... Oh! There's a fish. That's how that works. There it is. Cool, so there must be another fish waiting for me over on the other beach, because I heard that little poink sound. That means you got something. There it is. <laughs> I did a whole bunch of fish. Awesome. Well, I'm good. So what do we do with the fish now? Um, fish, clothes, crafting. Probably just turn it right into fish meat, I guess. Oh, what? We can build. With a sewing kit, that unlocks a lot of these hats. That is awesome. That's a napoleon -ish hat, a cap with spectacles, cool, beef eater, bowler, Amish. Alchemist. Might have go with the alchemist one myself. Bubble. 
Egyptian cap. This is cool. Fedora, Explorer hat. This is what I'm talking about, this game. Uh, well, there we go. Oh, leather? Requires, like, there's so so much depth. Once you get these, these cloths as well, ocean holders, you can start making all these cool flags. So many of them in here. Um, St. Patrick's Southern Uniform hat. Sombrero, the sombrero is from before. Top hat, oh my gosh. Um, wooden bed, that'd be kind of cool. Pole cloth. I don't know the beds do anything. Um, let's construct. Put this up at the fort, as it were. So yeah, there you go. Once you get the leather, you can make some uh, different types of clothings and whatnot. Boom, lie on it. Nice, eh? So, and you can get out of sleep. Uh, we're probably going to do that. So it probably just skips the night. And prob probably provides you a place to spawn on, to be honest. We'll have to wait until we die next time to find out. Um, but that's fine. That's cool. Um, I did have, actually have quite a bit of fun running around at night. It was just like, okay, how am I going to get through this? Uh, from random flax. Uh, which, you know, it's great. And so... I just want to make sure that I showed you all the things. I learned also last episode, and maybe I need to figure it out. Let's try one time here. Craft one. Okay. So, it could just be me, but if anybody does know, it seems like once you have this campfire remains, you can still interact with it, but then when you kind of cook something, you can't cook it. And you can't seem to stop it. We have nine. We have eight. Yeah, we can't get this back. So, even if you destroy it, um, let's say, I don't know, the pickaxe. Yeah, you don't get anything out of it. So, just keep that in mind. Try to only interact with working campfires because you can't just relight them like. Other things, he's kind of like the bonfire. I seem to be able to relight, and uh, then wasn't really able to again later. So I don't know. There you go on that. Okay, so today we I showed you how to build these. I didn't actually build these ones with you because of a recording error. Um, but yeah. So then you can build cloth, which then gives you a whole bunch of other things. And once you have cloth, though, too, you can also build um, various ship parts. I don't know if we got into that. But I'll recover it anyway. So yeah, yeah. Once you get the nails, you can do that. And ship, ship helm. It's mostly the nails. So it seems like the main thing we we're kind of lacking. Uh, there was another type of ship though. Maybe it's a boat. B O A. There we go. Boat. Cloth unlocks that one, so you can kind of see that. So, um, but in the next one, in the next episode, I want to really get trying to get this thing working here, this thing here, but I can't figure out how to make the bellows yet. So, we're trying to figure that out. It's probably just more leather and something, or maybe I'm missing a tool. I actually don't know that I have a hammer on me, to be honest, and that's probably one of the things that's really missing. Stone hammer, 111 on the six rope and stone. Craft, how about bellows? Actually revealing itself? Oh, it finally revealed itself. Oh, I just need more cloth. In the next episode, yeah, we're going to make some more cloth, make the bellows, probably get some more clay, because we need the, yeah, other than the anvil. Hmm, I don't know how to make the anvil yet. Anvil, oh, we can. Just, it's just iron ingots and any hammer, so... Boom, in the next episode we're going to make that and see where that brings us, because that's going to be exciting. I can't wait. I think we're doing pretty well, guys. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. So, we're going to get this all rolling here. Alright guys, so if you liked the episode, hit that like button. If you want to see more content by me, hit the subscribe button. Like I said, we're going to make that uh, black blacksmithing station next episode, and uh, that leads to iron armor. 
So we're basically going to be able to fight those wolves hand to hand now, and probably also um, pretty close to building iron weapons. Be my guess, because you know we have iron, we'll have all the blacksmithing stuff. This should work pretty well. So um, I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.